my topic is seeking God first. Uh, in Matthew 6:33, it says, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. This verse really speaks to me in a lot of ways. Um, it's so easy for me to get carried away uh, with playing the daily game of life. Uh, it's tempting to try to seek after success as the world defines it. A successful career, a Facebook worthy uh, family life, balancing work life and home life uh, can easily consume all of my time, energy, and thoughts. Uh, what would seeking God's kingdom first even look like in my life? I can quickly get lost in the process of trying to do everything on my own. I think we all struggle with this at times. We lose perspective, uh, distracted by all we have to do and everyone we think we have to please. We fear that if we take our eyes off of all the balls that we have up in the air, that they're going to come crashing down on us. It's tempting to set our relationship with God to the side and seek after our own goals first. In Matthew 6.33, Jesus had just finished telling a crowd of people to be anxious about nothing. If God cares enough to provide for the birds of the air and the grass of the field, then he cares enough to provide for us too. Instead of seeking prosperity, he encourages them to seek God first and his righteousness, and he will take care of the rest. To seek means to actively pursue. So what are you actively pursuing in your life? What do you seek first? Is it your job, your family? What do you worry about? Is it relationships, money, your health? If we choose to seek God first in our life, he promises to take care of all of our needs. He wants us to stop trying to control things that were never ours to control in the first place. When we actively pursue God, our priorities fall into line. Pursuing Him often fixes the very problems that we were worried about in the first place. Seeking God first helps me to be a better father, a better husband, a better doctor. When our eyes are on Him, it's easier to be content with what we have and to be at peace with the future that He has in store for us. Seek Him, pursue Him, and He will take care of the rest. Dear Lord, thank you for providing for all of our needs. Help us to remember to pursue you every day. Help us to resist the temptation to try to control everything ourselves. Please bless our church as we seek you during this time of change and growth. Guide our leaders as they seek your will for the future of our church. Amen.